I'm just messing with you. <laughs> hey, brother! Hello Spirits, so I just thought of this movie I remember watching when I was younger and it actually stayed repressed in my head until I had the great idea to type the plot into Search. Now something I remember is that it had a weird star like Polar Expresses, however that worked for that film. Wait, did they animate this as well? Uh, image movies, huh? Wait, who hired them? This was a Disney movie?! The movie follows, um, Milo, was it? I, I, I couldn't care less for their names, honestly. Trying to rescue his mother from Martian to steal mothers from Earth to take their motherly memories to program many bots. Who care for female Martians, while the males are dumped into a junkyard? This is where he meets Gribble. Who also lost his mother, because when their memories are taken instead of being returned to Earth, they're killed off. There's also a beautiful amount of characters, I'm just kidding. They're also joined by a hippie alien who loves colours and doesn't understand what affection and love is. And after researching into um, Earth during the 60s, she now knows hippie 60s English. They must save Milo's mum and so is some hijinks. They do, then she gives off the most accurate reaction to being on another planet. While escaping, she almost dies after she saves him from Granny here, destroying his helmet. <laughs> Gribble grabs a helmet he left years ago nearby and saves it. He changes their entire society by showing another way, love and family. They return to Earth and that ends the film. Alright, so we're starting off with, let's see, how was nobody alive when parenting was a thing? Just, how is it just this one lady who knows about it? Did she, what, kill everybody off that knew about it, or did the elders agree? Also, if they dump all the males, how do females reproduce? You know what, I shouldn't question it, just like cars. Another is the design choice. I think these faces would have worked in a, another style that isn't more tilted towards being realistic. Especially when they're aliens. Oh, and uh, I just want to bring attention to, um, this. Just. Fucking. Why? Finally, I can't remember if there was any humour in this movie. If there was, it was probably really subtle or just non-existent. I only remember this attempt at humour, but it was party humour. I don't think I really laughed or snickered even a little to any of the jokes. Maybe that's just my preference to dark humour, but eh. What's the cringe part of this story, you ask? It was between these two that happened within like the last 30 minutes of the film. Get it yet? Disney? couldn't have a movie without someone in love. So they decided to make Gribble fall for Key, which she also slowly falls for him. While I do think it was natural for her to experience love for the first time, it couldn't have been with another Martian to make the human-alien relationship cliche not as well hard to look at. This is Alien who was established like a couple times, who only really destroys the nanny bot and keeps the guards at bay. Ugh, you and me both, buddy. How can I sum them up? This relationship is literally the same dynamic as Robin and Starfire, except one had a more appealing art style, and it actually been built up for quite some time. Alright, I'm done. So, I gotta admit that I like the subtle detail of the English lip syncing not matching with their actual lips. This isn't an animation error for context. In the beginning, it was established that Gribble made some translator headsets and gave one to Milo, which allowed the viewers to understand the margins as well. Stop it right there! This is not over. You will surrender. Hey, 
It's probably a detail I like because you can hear them speak in their language, but it's just been lowered while English is overlaid on top. But it's not sync with the English, but rather the Martian's language. Alright, I gotta bring this up again. So, as I mentioned before, I also like the reaction of realizing the mother was on another planet. I think that made me smile from how accurate it was. Like, she didn't even assume it was a dream because she was just pulled out of bed, just screaming immediately as she looks out at <laughs> fucking Mars. I also like the change in colour in Mars. It's been shown that everything is usually in black or white before Key changes that and begins sprucing up the place with hippie colour. Not just with suits, but with outfits and structures. And I actually like the small world building, which is the underlay of Mars is deserted besides a small hatch. While underneath, there is an entire civilization. So this stops humans from knowing alien life exists. Now the emotional scene between Gribble and Milo seems actually pretty realistic. Years of grief when he couldn't even tell his mother sorry before she died. While marooned on a planet, alone, with nothing but a few digital videos and clothes to remember that day. And as he told the story, he was on the brink of crying. Kid. I did my chores. Put my things away. Then he finally decides to not put him through that same pain. I'll get to that later. Alright. <sighs> Can't believe I'm saying this. But the characters are... Okay. Now, don't get me wrong, I bloody hate Milo, but he's perceived to be an annoying brat, so at least they accurately portray kids. And it has aged like fine wine. The only good character in this entire movie, and my favourite, has got to be Gribble. I'm pretty sure he's the one who saved this movie, just even a little. But I don't like that Gribble didn't try to save Milo's mother immediately, like, man, why, what, what the, why put the kids through the same grief you did? I don't have anything really to say on Key, she's okay, not a god-awful, intolerable character, but she's fine, I just found her to be a bootleg starfire. So, this movie wasn't really that awful, despite the style choice not really being the best, considering it's the Polar Express style, which is a lot better fit there than it is here. Like, I'll, I'll give the animes, it's, it's really fluent, like, the characters are very expressive in movements, expressions, and in their voice performances. I pushed the wrong one. Oh my God! The film wasn't that hard to sit through, still was, especially when Key and Gribble fall in love. Th that was an experience. But that's not to say this movie was any reason good. This deserved to be a box office failure. My final words are, watch it if you want, let's just hope Disney doesn't opt in for a live action remake. It would look worse, or somehow be better? After I wrote the script, I actually found out there is a book adaptation of the same name. The story is basically the same, except the aliens aren't killers and just need help from a mother. And then they immediately just skip to the kid's helmet being broken, and the mother putting hers on him. I won't diss the style because it's well made, but I'm not going to complain about the alien designs for the movie anymore. I'm still processing that I even watched this as a kid. But that's all I have to say. Next video is the trilogy. Then there is a weird video coming out after that. Trust me when I say it is. Anyways, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. No!